uh, that is the truth. You know, uh, Jerusalem is the capital of, of Israel, and and, um, and that would be part of any final agreement anyway. I don't think there's really any question that we go along when things are resolved uh, that, that it should be part of Israel. And so we recognize that too. said, well, let's take these issues, right? Let's, on this one issue, what is an outcome that you think you could accept that you think the other side could live with? And he says, well, to do this, you have to go back to 1917, the 1948, the 1967, the 1973. Uh, and I just said, you know, look, we don't want to go through the history on this. I'm just curious here today in 2017, what's an outcome that works? Israel is a very special country. Uh, it's the only democracy in the region. Uh, it's America's strongest ally. They're a great military partner. Uh, we do a lot of business with them in a lot of ways. And so uh, Israel's security is something that's very important to this country. It's something that's very important to the president. And it's something that uh, we want to see. Uh, we want to see that resolved. And I do think that uh, a lot of what we'll do here in order for Israel to be secure long term, Uh, it's been very disheartening for us to see that the Palestinian leadership has basically been attacking a plan that they don't know what it is, uh, as opposed to reaching out. If they truly cared about making the lives of the Palestinian people better, uh, I think they would have taken different decisions over the last year. We believe that it's, it's virtuous. We believe that it's something that uh, is beneficial to both sides, and uh, it's been very disheartening for us.